little something like this. Come on. Good afternoon, Kennedy Dragons. I'm Mr. Butcher. I'm Mr. Newbert. And this is the afternoon announcements. And we are filming this before our pep rally. Uh, so we're looking forward to uh, having our third, fourth, and fifth grade for the pep That's rally. Right. And so we're going to get this done fairly quickly. Yeah, what are you going to be? Sure. I'm going to be a professor. Yeah. I'm, I'm just profess knowledge of stuff. Perfect. I'm just going to be better. People are That's like, why awesome. do you mean you're going to be better? I'm like, well, I'm, I'm going to be, be better. Better today than I was yesterday. Right. Better tomorrow than I was today. And then one kid said, well, what if you're worse? And I said, well, that will make it that much easier to be better the next the day. The next day, that's right. Being better every day, that's what we want to be about. All right, let's go ahead and look about for breakfast on Monday. Monday's breakfast, sausage bagel, cereal, or muffin? All right. Bagels. Bagels. Sausage. Ready for lunch? Yeah, what's lunch? Ready? I love me some corn dogs with ketchup and mustard. I love me some corn dogs. I love me some corn dogs. Do you like a corn dog? All right. What are we having? I think we're having corn dogs. That's right. But they're small. They're small. Mini. Mini corn dogs. Perfect. Uh, with baked beans. Hey, baked, baked beans. beans. Yes. Yay. We haven't had them in like two weeks. It's been and you know what goes well with mini corn dogs and baked beans? Doritos? Doritos. That's oh, right. Doritos. Guessing. And, of course, cucumbers and tomato. Yep. And? Applesauce. Applesauce. All right. Uh, they're going to have mustard with these corn dogs because that's the only way to eat a corn dog. All right. You don't, don't put ketchup. The song. No, ketchup. Well, I no. love me some corn dogs no, you, with ketchup and mustard. See, it's mustard fun. only. No, that doesn't with sound With extra good. mustard. <laughs> well, hopefully it'll have no mustard. No ketchup. On a corn dog. No ketchup. Don't. It's, no. It's good. Good stuff. It's blasphemous. All right. Um, let's talk about perfect attendance Perfect today. attendance. Not too many. Not too many. Nobody in pre-K. Miss Johnson's the only class in kindergarten. Miss Peterson in first grade. No one in second. Miss Escover in third grade. Mr. McCoy only in fourth grade. Way to go, fifth grade. Miss Chup and Miss Sorrels. And then Miss Corley and Miss Guerra had perfect attendance. Congratulations to those Way classes to with perfect attendance. Monday, we do start our uh, Georgia Milestones testing. Uh, that's very important, not just for our third, fourth, and fifth graders that are here, but to everyone yeah. that's going to be here because we're going to need you guys. One, we need everyone here on time. That's really, really important. We need, because we don't, yep. third, fourth, and fifth graders, whether you're testing in the morning, afternoon, we need you here on time so you're ready to go. And also, too, it's important that everyone's here because we can't be checking people in yeah. and having people walking up and down the halls um, with that. Also, remember that all uh, week next week, uh, we're eating in our rooms. So, teachers, if you haven't gotten that message, you need to make sure you get that. So, we're going to be working on that. We're really? in their rooms. In their rooms. In their rooms. There won't be any monitors here next week. Because our monitors are helping us with That's testing right. as well. So uh, you need to make sure you're aware of that. Um, we're going to need our pre-K through our second mm -hmm. graders, um, along with our third through fifth graders, making sure that we're really, really quiet as we walk in and out of the building and move around the building because people are going to be testing. We want to be respectful of that. So looking forward to it. I think this is going to yeah. be the best uh, year of testing we've ever had. Um, hopefully um, those scores will come back and show how great we've done all year with our reading and our math. So looking forward to that. With that being said, it's time for our good news call of the day, followed by our um, uh, PBIS stars of the week. Okay, on Fridays is the day that we recognize our PBIS stars. Those are people who um, have been ready, respectful, and responsible. We know that ready means being in the right place, place at the right time, time with the right stuff. Respectful means treating others the way you want to be. Treated. And responsible means doing your job with a smile on your face, face. and giving Perfect effort. Excellent. So our ready star of the week is Miss Paula Herrera from Miss Wallace's class, and this is what Miss Wallace says about Paula. She's quick to follow directions and remembers our classroom procedures with ease. So for being our ready star of the week, you get two dragon dollars. You get your picture outside the, the cafeteria. You get your name on the marquee. You get the gray band, and I believe now you have all three. You have all three now. No, two of the three. There you go. Congratulations. Our Respectful star of the week is Jessie Christie, and this is what Miss Belknap says about Jessie. She makes sure that students are treated fairly and always has something kind to say about everyone in her classroom. For being our respectful star of the week,
Jesse Christie, you get two dragon dollars. You get your picture outside the cap too. You get your name on the marquee, and you get the white respectful band. There you go. Our responsible star is not here. She had to check out, but it is uh, Briley Stevens from Miss Kinney's class. And this is what Miss Kinney says about Briley. Briley is always responsible in getting her homework completed and papers returned on time. So congratulations, Briley. You are our responsible star of the week. So here are our PBS stars of the week. Ready, respectful, and Briley is responsible. You guys have a great week. And that was our good news ball today. Awesome. PBS stars. That means it is time to dismiss. Well, since, oh, we're, since we're taping right now, it, it's time for us to get ready for the, my, for the pep rally. You already can't wait. But you guys, when your buses are called, please make sure that you guys um, go straight to your bus. Um, and make sure that you guys, when you come down, go straight to the gym um, so we can get you guys out of here today. It is raining, so we'll have to keep you inside, but we'll still make it work. Uh, you guys, thank you for helping us keep you safe. Um, uh, because when... Our job is to keep you safe, and your job is to help us, and you help us by being a ready, respectful, and responsible leader who's focused on graduating in the year. And when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible leader focused on graduation, you are boldly committed to student success. You guys have a great weekend. We love you very much. Third, fourth, and fifth graders, get a good yeah. night's sleep and be here Eat on time. Sleep. Sleep. Yes. Don't stress. You're ready. Yes, you guys you are ready. Well. You got this. We love you. Bye-bye.